All right, Verbling community, who wants to come in and tell all their sordid, terrible details about their first awkward experiences with love? Feel free to join in and let's get started. Alright, I think we're just about full, so we'll go ahead and begin. Okay, looks like we have a large, large group here today. Alright, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do hear some background noise, that means somebody's making a... Somebody's got both vid the YouTube video and the Verbling video open at the same time. Please close one of them. I love my voice, but I don't want to hear it. Okay. All right, we have a lot of, I think I have an entirely new class of people no, here no. today. No, okay, a couple of people have been in my comedy classes before. Okay, so fantastic, great, what, great to see everybody. Uh, hi to everybody who is uh, watching. I see we have about mm, 53 viewers already. Fantastic. Well, this is my comedy class, and my comedy classes are designed for one purpose and one purpose only. There's no shame in here. We're going to share very awkward and terrifying uh, events together. And in this case, some very awkward stories. In this class, we're going to talk about our first dates. Oh, yes. It's going to be amazing. And if you haven't been on a first date, that's fine. Just tell us about some time when you had a crush on somebody. We've all had that, right? I'm beginning from right to left, I'm going to go ahead and do introductions. So let's go ahead. I see we have a very diverse group here. Uh, let's see. Rama, are you there, sir? Yeah. Hi, I'm where, are you, here. where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Ooh, Turkey. What city? Uh, Ankara. The capital. The capital, the capital yeah. city. Fantastic, sir. I look forward. I wanted to ask you, what was your first date like? Was it nice, awkward, scary? Oh no, we lost you. Oh, people have been having connection problems today. Raphael. Hey, Matt. Can you hear me? Hi, hey. how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Mm -hmm. Hi, It's This is the first time I'm here. I uh, was invited by my friend. Uh, I'm joined. Thanks. Oh, happy to and have you. Add, thanks for having me in your Facebook. Oh, no problem. Happy to help. Welcome. Okay. And guys, I know that can, there have been connection issues. I'm helping as best as I can. And the Verbling staff's working on it. Just bear with us. This is very experimental technology. It is what it is. Uh, let's see. Ms. Ramon is here. Wonderful to see you again, Nofar. Thank you. <laughs> mm, likewise. I Look forward to hearing oh, what happened for on your first date. Oh, and by the way, I have to share too, because I will never ask you guys to do anything that I don't do. And I wish I could say keep it secret, but, well, everybody's going to see it, so it doesn't matter, right? Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. Miguel Perlaza, how are you, sir? Hello, sir. Long time no see. I know. Where have you been? You know, living, working, studying. <laughs> Did you find love? Love. Um, I don't know if that's love, but yeah, I have, you know, I have dated girls. <laughs> All right, that's what I like to hear. Okay, sir, so happy to have you here. I, I'm sure. Call me crazy, but I'm sure you're going to have quite a few stories to share with us. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> All right, so fantastic. All right, let's see, who else do we have? And then immediately next to him, we have Mentor. Are you there, sir? Oh, hello. Hi there. Glad to meet you. Likewise, where are you from? I'm from Kosovo. Kosovo. Oh, wonderful. Uh, are you from, uh, let's see, uh, shoot, starts with a P. 
I used to be so good at Pristina. Are you from Pristina? <laughs> you know, I am close to Pristina. I used to live there for, yeah, you know, I used to, to live there for, for five or six years when I was a student, but now I live, you know, uh, 50 or 70 kilometers far from that. Oh, well, not, not so far away, not so far not away. So, no. No. Well, wonderful. You're my very first Kosovar student, so I'm very happy to have you here. Sir. Am I? <laughs> yes. I'm so happy. I was actually living in Europe at the time that your country uh, declared independence. Oh, really? Where, and actually, right? uh, yeah, and actually I was in the American embassy when you declared independence and uh, there were protesters outside our embassy and I could not leave for a day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> which, which, uh, you know, which, which state you have been in Europe? Uh, at that time I was living in Stockholm in Sweden. Yeah. But why, why you, 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 you state that you are in the uh, USA embassy? Have you been really or you just... Oh, of course, killed? I'm an American, so... Uh, no, I was I was actually there. I am an American citizen, so I went to the embassy to go to a uh, an event because they always have parties for American citizens yeah. there. Yeah, that's right. And uh, yeah, the protest, and I couldn't uh, leave. Who protested? Day. But who protested? Uh, of course, even though this is a po I, I won't go too deep into the politics, but uh, okay, Serbian, okay. Serbian, you know, some uh, Serbian okay. people. Okay. Yeah. I thought you uh, mix it. I thought you say that the Albanian were protesting in front of your embassy, but I thought that you were wrong. No, no, <laughs> but no, I, sir. Okay. No, Albanians would actually be okay with it. I, it was the Serbians who uh, were yeah, protesting yeah, yeah. at that time. Yeah. So but yeah, the first date is. was the, yeah the first date was really really nice. <laughs> oh well, I look forward to hearing it about. I look forward to hearing it, sir. <laughs> Heart beating, right. you know. <laughs> uh huh. So, uh, thank you for being here, mentor. Uh, Hector, yeah. are you there, Mister Hernandez? Yes, I am, sir. How are you? How are you, Matthew? How are you, everyone? I am Hector Hernandez. I am from Monterrey, Mexico. And today, this is my first class with you. Oh, wonderful. Where are you from, Mr. Hernandez? Monterrey, Mexico. Oh, not far from me at all. I'm, fr I'm living in um, Del just by Ciudad Acuña in Coahuila. So okay. I'm not too far away from you. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. Yeah. No problem. So I look forward to hearing your... Monterrey is such a romantic city. <laughs> oh, I think so. So I look forward to hearing your story about your first date. Oh my goodness. All right. And then of course we have Daniela. Daniela, our Italian Hi again. student. How are you doing? Hi. Fine. Daniela, can you tell everybody where can you tell everybody where you're from? I'm from Italy. I'm a girl, twenty nine years old. And what's all? <laughs> I'll tell them the city, at least. The well, place uh, where Juliet lived. <laughs> okay, I studied in Verona, but uh, I live uh, um, in a place uh, near Vicenza, and mm -hmm. uh, so I travel in the north of Italy, and also have uh, my relatives from Sicily and cousins from Rome. I'm uh, Italian from everywhere. Fantastic. You, you drink water where Juliet drinks before. <laughs> mm. oh, yeah. Matthew, you must have you must have a story to which we can be very interesting. I think a lot of I story so. and very <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dramatic uh, with a uh, tragedy in every history. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to hear in my class is <laughs> tragedy. Okay, <laughs> and then the last. Uh, the last person we have, uh, Alex. Alex, how are you, sir? Hello. How are you? Doing well, great. I'm, as I said before, I'm from Madrid, Spain, and, and well, uh, you know, you want me to talk about now the, the first date or something like that. Yeah. It was uh, uh, as the first time of everything, uh, very embarrassing. Um, you know, <laughs> I look forward to hearing the details soon. But before I ask any of you guys to embarrass yourselves, it's my turn first. 
before I do that, I'm going to give an opportunity to allow a couple of my friends one. Okay, I'm allowing actually a few of my closest friends uh, to uh, listen in on this story. So, here's my first date. Everybody get out your notes. There will be a test on this. Who knows? Okay. <clears throat> So, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Matthew. I'm an American teacher from the state of Texas, and uh, it's very nice to meet all of you. My first date, I'm only counting from university until now, because I'm not counting high school. Because high school is always embarrassing, right? So, I, although, you know what? I'm going to count high school, and I'm going to tell you a high school date that I had. <laughs> Promise not to freak out? Okay. So. When I was 16 years old, I there's kind of a tradition in American society that you take your girlfriend to the football game, right? The American football game, right? So I took, uh, at this time I was dating this very lovely girl, Maribel Hernandez. Hi, Maribel, if you're watching. I'm about to embarrass you. Um, and she was, she was really, really cool and really, really tough. Uh, do you guys know the term, uh, actually, Hector, do you know the term chola? Yes, no. of course I know. Can you explain what uh, the cultural term chola, what, that, what does that mean? Well, uh, a chola, chola here in Mexico is the girl that we call, and she's part of a gang. She's a mm -hmm. kind of cancer person. Oh female. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before you guys judge me, <laughs> with, loose, um, with loose pants, of course. Yeah, um, my uh, yeah, my uh, my first serious girlfriend in in high school. I guess she would call herself that sometimes. Uh, she was not an actual member of a gang, but she was kind of tough and strong. And I'm kind of a nerd, in case you can't tell. Um, so. We were at the football game together, and I was so happy. I, I was holding her hand, and I was like, oh, this is nice. This is great. Um, and uh, this guy accidentally drops his popcorn on, on my girlfriend. <laughs> what, did, what was his, her name? <laughs> I'm not going to repeat it. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> But what happened ended up happening was, uh, you know, he apologized, and so I was like, "Hey, watch where you're going." You know, he's like, "Oh, I'm sorry." She got up and she took his uh, soda, his soda pop, and uh, poured it on his head. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> what, you what you were doing? What you were doing? That at that time, what could I do? I was just like, "Did she do that?" I was like, okay, sweetheart, how about we just go over this way? <laughs> why don't we... Strange manners. I was like, why don't we come farther over here, okay? Why don't we come closer to the game and watch the game from closer, right? Um, yeah, that was my first... That was actually my first real date. I was 16 years old at the time, and it didn't go too great. My first date as an adult, I was 18 years old uh, in university, and I was living in uh, Laredo, Laredo, Texas, across from uh, Nueva Laredo in Mexico, um, in the state of Tamaulipas, and uh, my first date was with this girl from uh, from uh, Monterrey, which is why I am very happy that Hector is from here. Is from there. Hi, Hector. So, if you could describe how wonderful the ladies of Monterrey are, could you describe that for us? Yeah, well, I have I have traveled around the country. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you that here in Monterey, I don't know why, but this is the capital of the beautiful of the beautiful women. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in case you guys, again, in case you can't tell, the best words to describe my physical features are pale and thin. Neither of those things are usually necessarily good for dating a beautiful, lovely girl from Ciudad Monterey. But for some reason, I lucked out, and for a little time, I dated a girl from Monterrey. I went on a date with her to a rodeo. Do you guys know what a rodeo is? Yep. 
Okay. Yeah, it's like where you watch cowboys or people ride horses and stuff. Because this is like South Texas, North Mexico. This is rodeos are very common. So I went with her to a rodeo. And we went bull, uh, where we were watching bull riders, and I was trying to be impressive uh, to her, and um, I failed. Uh, because I wanted to get on the robotic, like robotic bull, <laughs> um, yeah. and so I was so happy. I was so happy because I had my cowboy hat and I was speaking in my normal accent. Because maybe some of you don't know, uh, Tammy. If you're watching this, you know this is not my real voice. This is sort of a kind of a practiced accent that I have to be kind of, you know, neutral, like just standard American. My real accent is a little more strongly Texan. So I was speaking to her in my text. I was like, all right, sweetheart, don't, don't even worry about it. I'm going to ride this, this, this bull right here. Just watch here, baby. So I, um, I got on the bull. <laughs> and uh, three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> impressive. The reason I was like, I've got this, ah, and it fell off. <laughs> what a performance. And I, I was on my back like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, That was well, my Well, at least she of... laughed. That's something also. She did laugh. <laughs> she did laugh a lot. Yeah. A lot. Hey, but let me tell you that you did the, almost the the middle of the time that you have to be standing on the bull. Really? How, I, how long yeah, is that? You should you should uh, stay there eight seconds. Really? Oh my God! I feel better now. You know yeah, what? Yeah. I I'm gonna change how I said this. I stayed on that bull for three whole seconds. Yeah. Impressive. <laughs> Very, but actually not impressive compared to the other vaqueros who stayed on the whole time. No. Uh, but I thought I could handle it. I thought I could handle it. Okay. No, no, no. So, so let's go ahead. I'm going to give time for the new people to introduce themselves. Okay. We have, uh, if we can look, Miss Linda Barreto. Linda, are you there? Looks like not. That's okay. Linda, I'll come back to you in a little bit. And who else do we have here? Mm, nope, that seems like the only new one. Nope, Nader is here as well. Hi, Nader. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. So, who to share their story? If ladies, nobody first. ladies first. If nobody volunteers, I'm going to volunteer someone. Ladies first. Oh, Mentor, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay, so who wants to go first? I'll say it this way. If you guys all go and share your story, if there's still time, I'll sing for you. And it's going to be <laughs> something funny. So who wants to go first? Not all together. Okay, I'm picking. <laughs> no far. Me? <laughs> Okay, my first date was yeah, really... just random. I just like, guys, remember, there's no shame in this class. We're going to be supportive. We're not going to make fun of each other. So go ahead, Nofar. When was, uh, and it doesn't have to necessarily be an, an, an embarrassing experience for you. It could be like, embarrassing for the guy who you went out with. No, it was quite embarrassing for me either. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. That's great. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was really awkward. We just went on like, a restaurant and... I don't know. He was like six point three feet. Oh my tall. god! Yeah, it was something enormous, and I was with the heels, and I was like, "Oh, you're so tall!" And then, <laughs> okay, and then he just giggled after like every sentence he said, and he was so I don't know. It was just like socially awkward. <laughs> it was just like. I really cannot, like, define him or something. It was, like, embarrassing. Any... So my question is, no far, like, was, this, was this love at first sight? 
Well, obviously not. <laughs> it wasn't anything. Wow. It was just, just no, not going to happen. Oh, well, that's no. unfortunate. And oh. he also spelled like of sweat. Oh, oh, oh. Gentlemen, <laughs> just in case you didn't know, smelling like sweat is not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really not, especially when you come to hug him at the end of the day. Oh, uh, like I can nice. imagine, like, sweat stains right, come here, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm, here we go. Something like mm -hmm. that. <laughs> smell yeah. it, right? Mmm, that's how a man should smell. No, man. No, gentlemen, that <laughs> no, is not honey, how a man no. should smell. Men should smell good, right? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like uh, last, yeah, like last night, uh, I was at a charity event. I wore uh, for the first time I wore Versace cologne, and I was like, "Why have I never worn this before? This is perfect. Everybody likes how I." Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, okay. so guys, who wants to go next? Who's gonna be brave?" I'm gonna pick mentor. Men uh, mentor. <laughs> mentor. <so> mentor. <laughs> democracy is triumphant. Go ahead, mentor. You know, oh. I'm, ju I'm just dating right now. Please. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, no kidding. What? So, what What's is the? the What's the topic? <laughs> oh, whatever, mentor. As if you don't know. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> Mentor speak. Tell okay. the truth. <laughs> okay, while well, I'm speaking, you marry you, Danny. Don't make any fairy tale. You know, you you must be truth to you also. Okay, first you tell the story. Then uh, it's my turn. Oh, you two, go ahead. I had I had once upon a time I had. <laughs> 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 I had just one love in my life who touched my heart so deep. <laughs> I never forget, never ever. Oh, world. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really, I I did it, you know, when I was a teenager, uh, girls, while well, I was in the school there. And, um, you know, First day it is like a heart heart beating, feeling like a king, you know, you, you don't wanna tell everything to her, you are reserved, so on and so on. Yeah. You gotta be strong. So like, yeah, you know, you feel like so and and at the time you care too much about the dresses what you are wearing. Jeans or my time. No, I'm thirty four, you know. Before 20 years, before 15 or 17 years, imagine the jeans were so, so in fashion here in my country. Maybe in your country, in Texas, also. <laughs> oh, of course. I mean, I wouldn't know what you're talking about with jeans at all. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, in that time, we just. There's, there is, was an impression, impression about the first dating, feeling heart beating, and so you know you you never can can forget that that kind of moment. So I still remember my first kiss. Holy crap! I never kissed a girl before in my life. What? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, you know. I was about to say, mentor. I don't believe that for a second. Look at this. Look at this profile picture. That's a man right there. <laughs> Beard. Are you? Do you? Are you doubting? Do you? Are you doubting my picture? No, I'm not doubting. I I believe you. <laughs> no, I'm, no, yes. My course. God, guys, that, let's and change. Then when I was student, when, when, when I was student, you know, and so I changed the girls. Like a socks, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> no, it's like, such a gentleman. You know, you know, you know why, why I become Casanova? Because I failed to be a, a, a Romeo. Oh, oh, that's a really good way to put it. <laughs> okay, but uh, okay. Danielle is like, ah, ugh. 
Damn. Because I was thinking about the tragedy and the death of Romeo. <laughs> and Casanova survived, of course. <laughs> yes. He survived. Vieni, <laughs> l'amore. Par parlare per l'amore. Per parlare dell'amore. Un poco. Un poco mio. Un vai. poco. Un poco. <laughs> amore, amore mio. Mm. <laughs> Matthew, you know, when Weblin will uh, let me be an Italian teacher? <laughs> you'll have to ask the Verbling staff. Oh, that'd be you, so perfect. Okay. You, must be, you, you must be assistant of the Matthew, for sure. Oh, okay. so guys. Matthew, Matthew mm -hmm. if you don't speak Italian, you don't know what loves mean. I don't. I have to disagree. I don't know you. Italian, but I do know Spanish, and Spanish is the love. And as we, as the famous song says, Spanish is the tongue of is the love is the loving tongue. You yeah, it is. No, also Italian. Italian, yeah. I'm all. So, this is better. You don't feel <laughs> dead. You don't I'd feel say separate. dead. Oh, un poco de tu amor. Para poder vivir un poco de tu amor, me puede ser feliz. That means a little bit of your love is all that I need to be happy and all that I need. So, Matthew, I think that uh, Spanish uh, are a little bit uh, uh, passionate uh, songs, uh, while uh, in Italian are uh, romantic songs uh, and uh, tragedy and uh, all about feelings. All Maybe. the world knows Romeo and Juliet. All the world knows. Okay, they are, but and, they want they are all symbol the, of the love. Yes, but mentor, everyone yeah. knows about a famous balcony in Verona, which is uh, sure. the most uh, visited uh, tourist uh, um, place in Italy. But of course, even I've been there. Okay, but Matthew, this is not real. Of course, it, it, it's just a, it's a, a fake repro, from repro, story. Okay, it's a fake, but uh, near my, my town, there's Montecchio, and uh, if you know uh, the names of uh, Romeo or Juliet, is a Montecchi. So Montecchio is a place where there are two castles, and maybe is the, uh, the real place where Shakespeare took the history. It's possible. It is yes. possible. So guys, to keep us focused, I want to go ahead and move on. Who's going to share their first date story? Daniela. Oh, we already got a vote for Daniela. Anybody else? I thought you would put yes, me. Daniela. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Daniela. Okay, I'm going. Okay, okay. Daniela, it's your turn. After listening, Daniela, I'm leaving this room. I'm not interested for nobody, just for Daniela. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> At least he's being honest. Go ahead, Daniela. What a lucky girl. So I remember my first date when I was 16 in high school, and I was in love with a. Oh. A uh, boy so in uh, my class, and he was so looking young. at me. I was looking at uh, him, but uh, nothing happens. So one day, I was uh, with my a friend of mine, the best friend. So I said, "Why I should wait uh, this boy to ask me to go out? I can innovate. I can be a new girl. I can be brave." So I, I phone him and say, uh, <laughs> hey, "I'm uh, Daniela. Can uh, you be my boyfriend?" And uh, he, uh, <laughs> he answered, Go on. yes. This is uh, perfect, no? Perfect. Well, uh, after yeah. one uh, month, I think uh, he tried to escape me. He <laughs> left me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Daniela, I have to choose your English grammar here. I like this. After one month, not he tried to break up or tried to end the relationship. He tried to escape from you. <laughs> yes, because uh, I am. I came from uh, out from a shop and I couldn't find him, and it was. Uh, oh, he actually there. physically tried to get away from you. Yes, I ran away, but <laughs> yes, it is a problem. So when I came back to school, I said, "This time I will be an adult. I will ask him if he would uh, uh, block this relationship." So I went to him and asked, uh, uh, "Do you love me?" Do you still love me? I was expecting an answer like yes or not, but this kind of man answered me, I don't know. I hate, <laughs> hate that phrase. This was so embarrassing because uh, there were all my friends, all the class present. So I came back to the class, 
I wait in the, the pause and then uh, I uh, turn back, look at him and said, I know the answer. I left you. Okay. Oh. And then, what a douche. Uh, <laughs> and then all of the class was against me, like I was a monster, someone who break him delicate heart. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, this is a tragedy. <laughs> Yeah. It's part of comedy, you know, sometimes. <laughs> it's it looks like comedy. <laughs> yeah. But the, the, the comedy was that uh, her mother was so uh, happy about this relationship who um, tried to uh, be a friend of me and still here, is still today. When uh, I see her, it always, hi, Daniela. How are you? I remember. I said, no, please. I don't remember nothing. I lost my memory. I was an adolescent. There was nothing between me and your, and your boy. Don't worry, Daniel. I'm going to find the boy for you. Really. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and now it begins. <laughs> now it begins. Yes. Romeo attacks. God help us all. God help us all. Guys, I want to give a chance. Uh, Linda, have you been able to fix your microphone? Nope. Well, that's sad. Okay. Hopefully it can get fixed. So, guys, we've heard some pretty good stories so far. Who's next? Hector. Gotta vote for Hector. Do you want I to vote for him, too. Hector, looks like it's your turn, buddy. Okay, let me tell you. Well, I when I was 14 years, no, 15 years, I, I guess, I was a real shine boy. Oh, you don't look like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to be. I used what to be what happened that changed to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When there, there was a girl, that I don't even remember her name anymore. But she was she was older than me, I guess two years or or three years. And she always tried to hook me up and well once I I had the opportunity to go out with her to take uh, an ice cream. But the problem was when we finished our or ice cream because I I never realized how to the exact the exactly moment to kiss her. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, you got like this, right? Like. <laughs> yeah. I I always saw I always watch in in movies that when people go out after the date. They always try to kiss, or, or maybe they will kiss. But at that moment, I was really nervous, and my hands were shaking, and I was really uh, scared of the situation. Till she told me, "Hey, are you gonna kiss me or not?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I was. <laughs> so wait, wait, were you dating Danny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure to of that. Oh my! But well, was that was the situation that she after that she taught me how to kiss and another kind she of. She taught you how I to kiss. You. She yeah. wait wait she taught you how to get. Oh, that's romantic. <laughs> yeah, but she, because she was older than me. How how much and older? She, and she take advantage, I guess. <laughs> but that's another story for another different Ouch! Yeah. I think every every gentleman in the class was just like, oh, what? Huh? Um, um, continue, yeah. <laughs> continue, Hector. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that was really. <gasps> Don't look out, Hector. There's someone behind you. It's her. No, she uh, actually she's my wife. Oh, she's your. Uh, you tell her that, that's, oh the reason, that's the reason because I don't remember the name of the girl anymore. <laughs> you know? Wait, wait, how did you and your wife meet? Well, it was uh, four years after that, after the situation. <laughs> yeah, 
and I and I I meet her in her work. Oh. Every day, every day I was passing by, she was. Till I I take courage and I speak to her. And we go out for a move to to the movies. We take I don't know a year and a half till we get married. Ooh. Ooh. Now I feel Wonderful great. Story. Yeah, it was my saddest story. But it turned out perfect. My um, I had dated uh, this beautiful, lovely woman for three years, but uh, actually it didn't work out. So uh, congratulations, my friend. Ooh. You found your media naranja, the other half yes, of your indeed. orange. Ooh. Yes, indeed. Let me tell you that I love her so much. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, uh, Yi. Yi asks, when am I going to have a class for the entire day? Oh my god. I don't, I might die. Yi, at some point I do have to use the restroom. You have to understand that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So guys, I want to ask you, you know, let's have a discussion here. Let's, let's, let's get, come here, get closer. Okay, okay. Who wants to go next? I don't know. Let's see. All right, so who has not gone? Let's see. Omar hasn't gone? No, Tishar here. Omar, it's your turn. I'm just deciding. Go for it. Well, I, I, I have been hearing that you're talking about something that had to do with, I don't know, with romantic events Your event first date. Like that. Your first date. Well, teacher, to be honest, was when I was 14 years old, I was very shy. Um, but the first person who I fell in love with was with my with my science teacher. I like uh, this so far because Omar, I used to be a science teacher before I worked for the government. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I fell in love with my science teacher. I was 14 years old, and I think my science teacher was 35 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. yeah, and I love her, but I love her. and I was fell in love with her. She didn't know anything about it. So one day I took the chance and I talked to her about my feelings. And one day I said to her in private, "Teacher, you just want to tell you something. You know, you know, my two legs was well, they were shaking in this moment, but I said." Let's say my 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 ex science teacher. What I felt. What it, what about my feeling? But the first thing that she told me that I was a a, a kid, a real um, I, that I was too small for her. Well, and then what I did when I when I got home, I was crying now because she said no to my feelings. So I, I don't know. So in this moment, I didn't know what to 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 do, teacher. So I was really 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 shy. And I think she was the first woman that I fell in love was my, with my Saiyan teacher. I said before, she was 35 years old. And I was 14. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's probably, it's for the best because if she had said yes, that would have been very, very illegal and wrong. So, <laughs> yeah. well, I, well, I didn't consider this way. I, the only thing course, that when I, you're young, you don't yeah. know. Yeah. yeah, well, I was very young, but I was falling in love. Uh, in love with hair, but she didn't pay me any attention. Yeah, my um, my first year as a school teacher, I was a middle school teacher. I uh, I didn't go straight from bachelor's degree to master's degree. I I spent a year as a school teacher first, just because uh, my whole family are teachers. So I thought, you know, it's a good service. So I I was a middle school teacher for one mm -hmm. for one year, and I loved it. But uh, I'm to give you an idea, my students are fourteen. Uh, some some are 14, 15 years old, right? 14, 15 years old. I'm 22. I'm gonna let you think about that for a little bit. Mm -hmm. but, the, but but I got another story, Tisha. It was when I was nine years old. Also, in that, when I was nine years old, also I fell in love with my with my teacher. And uh, I think my teacher was 30 or 25 years old, something like that, 28 or 30 years old. It was really extremely fell in love with her. And I recall one day when she told me, hey, I'm going to go uh, downstairs and I want you to pick up that fan. 
and I went there. I recall when my teacher kissed my cheek uh, here Aww. in my chin, <laughs> and I, you know, I didn't want to wash my my, my face that day. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't watch it. So I so feel so happy that uh, you know, but I was a little one. He <laughs> was just a kid, and uh, well, this is a kind of experiences that I had when I was, um, you know, uh, when I was a uh, teenager, and also when I was um, a little one. But I think my 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 first day that I had was when I was 29 years old. It was the first one. I was really, to be honest, was really um, nervous because. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it was going to be my first my first experience with someone with different you know with different gender. Well, but I I don't have many things to 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 share. So this is the experiences that I had before. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, yeah, I think I had similar experience a little bit. I was 22 years old mm -hmm. uh, when I first was teaching at a middle school. My students were 14, 15. And because uh, all of the other school teachers were 40 years old, 50 years old, I was easily the youngest because I was my first year. Um, I had, uh, I always got, even though I'm not so handsome, you know, just because I'm young and I'm the teacher, I always got a lot of, you know, love notes. Um, and one girl, like, she confronted me like you did with your teacher. And uh, I did the same thing your teacher did. I very directly shot her down. And you, and you know, as a teacher, you're sad to do it because you don't want to hurt your kid. But at the same point, you cannot. You need to let them know, no, like, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I understand like your feeling because I'm. She was really crushed too. But uh, you have to do that. You have to. You can. You love your student as your child, and you have. To, but and, uh, you have to uh, just very strictly tell them that's never going to happen. I do not think of you that way. I don't love you that way. You're my kid. I'm sorry. Get, get out. Get out of here. Don't bring it up again. And maybe they'll hate you for a little bit, but it is what it is. All right, and the, we have about 15 minutes left. Who wants to go next? Matthew, I have a question. Yes. You said you're 22. I was 22. I'm not 22 anymore. Oh. So how, old, how old are you? No far. You made me guess where you were from. Guess how old I am. You want to date him? You look uh, <laughs> like twenty-eight. Twenty-one at a time. Someone says twenty-eight. Yeah. No far. What do you think? You know. Well, you look like time. you look twenty-five, but maybe you're older. So you know, twenty-eight. Uh, Perfect guess. I'm twenty-six years old. You know. Oh, that was look between. <laughs> Yeah, you look you look clever like forty, you know, but like, you <laughs> like, clever like like forty years old. Clever, clever. I look forty. Oh my god, I look clever, old. clever, smart. Oh, but <laughs> you were saying I was like, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, no, I um. Uh, I, I used to I used to look a lot younger actually than I than I do right now. I wish I could. Do you guys want to see the picture from uh, the yearbook when I first uh, was born? When I not born, but my first year as a school teacher. I can show you right now to show you how much I've aged. Give me just a sec. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I um, I actually here it is. Uh, I was actually a teacher at a Korea, South Korean um, middle school. I was teaching at a military a school in the military zone between South and North Korea. Um, let me find my my staff photo. This is the yearbook. Uh, let me find it. Here we go. So you also speak Korean? Ne, Hangul Mara, uh, Arasoyo. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, I understand Korean. Okay, so there I am. Let's see. Please. Here we go. Let's see if it's gonna load. Well, why is my is why is my camera slow? Okay, sorry. Here we go. There I am. <laughs> oh, 
Wow. Yeah, I was, I, I've aged a little bit. For those of you who didn't see, look at that. Oh, look at that teacher. He's so young and full of promise and excited and, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and now here he is. No, you oh, haven't well. changed it, like, a lot. Oh, I have aged a little bit, though. I, um, uh, the past four years have been a really awesome adventure, but uh, it's taken its toll. You can't see, actually, but I have uh, uh, wrinkles here now. Yeah, of course. Of course um, you do. Right. No far. Right. are you being sarcastic? Yeah, of course I am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come after you. Just remember this. No problem. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, who is going to go next? Maria. <laughs> Danny, Danny. Second date. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> A second Miguel. date, to no. <laughs> Miguel. Mr. Perlaza. Uh, hello. Sir, tell us about your first date. Um. I'm not gonna say names because it was awkward. <laughs> you know, actually, when I was a kid, I was like 15 years old. I was kind of nerd. And That's great. I, was... I love nerds. <laughs> and I was into a girl. So, well, I was not able to say that. You know, to ask her out. So, when I was in university, she was studying the same thing I'm studying right now, and I asked her to go out. It was like kind of my first date. <laughs> um, well, everything was great. We were about to go out, and she asked me if she was able to invite her cousin. The cousin oh, was a girl. <laughs> the cousin oh, was a girl. No. Yeah, that was bad. We were, you know, we were in a club. We were dancing and everything. She and her cousin were taking a lot. You know, I was like the kind of violin, violin, vi, vi, oh my gosh, the one playing the violin for them, you know. And I went to the bathroom for a few minutes, like maybe two or three, something like that. When I came back, they were kissing. It was awkward. And, whoa, you know, I wasn't shocked. But I survived. <laughs> <laughs> so, so sad yeah. About that. Um, yeah, it was sad. Miguel, did they rompiste su corazón? Sí, me rompió el corazón. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lo siento muchísimo. Well, muchas gracias. Oh, I'm, I'm very sad about that. What's her name? I'm, oh wait, you're not going to give us names. Damn. No, 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 I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say the name. Okay. Miguel, where are you from? I'm Colombian. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, are we about to have matchmaking and burbling again? God help us all. <laughs> God help us all. That's why I, I told uh, Michael, who's the CEO, I was like, Michael, this is going to quickly. You're going to quickly have burbling families. If we keep this up, <laughs> gonna happen. Not that that's bad. Not that that's bad. Okay, so who has not had a chance to go yet? Who wants to go next? Omar's gone. Nofar's gone. Uh, Linda. Uh, no, I'm here, teacher. Who told you that I have home? I'm sorry. Uh, what about Alex? Oh, I'm still here. Okay, sorry, the connection got really slow. Yeah, I uh, have some problems with it. Hello? Alex? And are it's like very choppy, the, mm. the video. Yeah. Can I repeat again? Yeah, it is very choppy. 
Yeah, if you if you want to turn off the camera, guys, it's okay. I have to keep mine on since I'm the teacher, but if you want to turn yours off, uh, please feel free. Um, maybe it'll help the connection. I'm not sure. I apologize. I think we're having one of those days where something weird's happening. Lo siento. I'm sorry. Ooh, it's beginning to get dark outside. Maybe my love will find me. <laughs> oh, you guys don't know. I had to last night. I had to sing um, a song. Do you guys know Adele's "Someone Like You"? Of course. Yes. Yeah. I had to sing it last night at a charity event. Ooh, nice. <laughs> okay. If you think sing so. it, I know. Sing it. Oh, oh my sing God. It. Why? Yeah, Why? Sing it. You know, I joined because I wanted. I wanted to hear you sing. Long time without doing it. Come on. Will that make you guys happy? Yeah. Yes, so you are so gifted. <clears throat> that, would make me, that would make me forget my bad date. Come on. Okay. Let me think. I'm going to get started. Uh, let me get the uh, karaoke for it. Hold on. I'm going to pull my I'm going to pull it up on my tablet. Um, okay. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and uh, uh oh, Yi is freaking out because she's never heard me speak Spanish before. She's like, "What? I didn't hear him speak it." Blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's see. Here we go. So, I'm sorry, Yi. I promise. Next time, as soon as you get your connection fixed, Yi, I will speak all the Spanish for you that you want, and some Chinese too, because I've never spoken mm. Chinese to you either. Oh, so. What? Uh, let's see here. Sorry, let me set the connection up. So, uh, guys, I'll go ahead. First off, I want to say you guys had a lot of courage today. You know, it's not always easy to share something personal like that, even if you're trying to learn a new language. But that's one reason why we have these classes, okay? Uh, that we learn to develop confidence because one of the scariest things you can do is share personal stories, much less personal stories in a second language. Uh, so I really want to give everybody a lot of credit for that. Good job. And as a reward, I'm going to sing just the first verse of <clears throat> Someone Like You by Adele. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Oh, God. <clears throat> just the first verse. I heard that you're settled down, that you found a girl and you're married now. I heard that your dreams came true, guess she gave you things I didn't give to you. Old friend, why are you so shy? Ain't like you to hold back or hide from a lie. Oh no, I reminded that for me. It isn't over. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you, too. Don't forget me, I beg. I remember you said sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. Yeah. I'm only doing that much. Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! Yeah, that's good. Um, it was Not better. Better. That awesome. I'm sorry, what? Singing, singing lesson when? I'm sorry, what, what, what was that, Danny? Okay, I was asking why don't you do uh, a singing lesson in, in singing English? Welcome. Oh, I normally do them. I was gonna have one today, but my internet connection broke. So let's be let's be the no the no up. as a, a singer teacher, not English teacher. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe someday, maybe someday. Oh, oh, so no. you can add me. I'm, I'm always out of tune. 
You know, maybe someday I will. Who knows? Guys, I want to give everybody a lot of credit. You did a lot of great work today. Good job. Um, because the connection is really weak, I'm going to go ahead and end this class right now a little early. But no, I do have a, don't go. I have a third <laughs> class coming no. up. So I will see you guys there. It's going to be a very interesting one on, uh, on faith and religion. So I will see okay. you there. Let me go ahead and end the broadcast now. Just uh, let's start to figure out what's wrong with the connection, and we'll get moving. Great job, guys. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank bye -bye, you, guys. Thank you so much. It was amazing. Time. Yeah, it was Hello. 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 Who? Oh, Thomas. Hello. Hello, Bobo. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Yeah. We we need to we need to leave this hangout. Let's create another one, okay? Which one? Let's go to the next class, okay? Alright. Starts in one minute.